analyticized. That's pretty much fantastic. All right. Hello, everyone. This is Josh the Valiant Gamers, recording without Joe today. Um, yeah, fun stuff. Joe's uh, Joe's schedule is absolutely crazy this summer. I, I thought I was busy. Dude is working on a on a family camp with his you know his family, and uh, and his sister's getting married later this month, so they're super busy with preparations for that. And is and he I think he's still doing swimming and just all sorts of all sorts of stuff is going on with him right now. So he's pretty much out of commission for the next few weeks. So. That being said, I'm not going to abandon Minecraft, so I'm just going to go ahead and play without him. And, uh, well, actually, as long as we're talking about this, I'd like opinions, as I always do. Um, would you guys like to keep seeing Joe's world, or, until Joe returns, would you rather see the old world, which is the first game that I started, which is, uh, a little, uh, a little more cultivated than Joe's, let's say? Um... I'm not going to play that now, but uh, we'll... S well, actually, you know what? Heck with it. Let's show you guys the old world. Just a little bit different. Okay. It's raining. It's raining. So, yeah, this is my... Uh, this is what I call base one. I've got my uh, my torch and my, my bed and some, some windows. Windows, look at that. And uh, look at my inventory in here. You see, I'm working with iron tools almost exclusively. Which is pretty nice. I got a fishing pole, I got some seeds, I've been doing some farming outside my house, you'll see that in a little while. Compass, a clock, ladders, signs, uh, the signs are just in case. Open this, and we have the uh, main room of my domicile. And with uh, all of these chests have stuff in it. The This is my junk drawer. This is my first junk drawer. This is my, uh, my building materials thing where I've got my red dust and my glass, and stone stairs, I was building a big old staircase out in the distance, and I uh, kind of ran out. Oh, that's new ant ambiance, I didn't know that was there. Anyway, uh, the gold ingots, I got a whole bunch more of those recently. Um, so that's my building, building materials, this is milk, I need more milk to make cake, I'm working on that. Bone meal, pumpkin. Uh, Camtasia just finished in the background, in case anything gets stuttered for you guys. Uh, lots and lots of wheat. Lots of bread. Not as much pork chops as I would like, now that I look at them. Thought I had more than that. Uh, water, lava, more signs, more, uh, crafting and furnace, and another iron axe, which I should probably have with me. Take that with me. Uh, flint and lots of coal. Decent amount of gunpowder. I like that it's gunpowder now and not sulfur. Thank you, Notch, for changing that. Uh, leather. Exact. I wonder when our world we're going to be able to make like leather saddles. And I really want horses in the game. Not going to lie. Notch, if you watch these by some stroke of miracle, I really want horses in the game. Um, and yeah, so that's my stuff. And this thing is just cooking away on some cobblestone because I couldn't think of anything better to do with it. And I do not want it to be raining. Dang. I, I'm a role player at heart. Oh, you can, guys can see in the distance there. There's a base two. I haven't done much with it, but it's uh, pretty awesome. It's right up there at the top of that mountain. The clouds actually pass through it. It's kind of hilarious. But yeah, nothing's on, nothing's actually going on over there. But I'll show you guys the road and stuff later on anyway. But uh, yeah, let's do some uh, farming, I guess. And that's the wrong box. And, uh, I'm gonna pick up some iron and some sticks. This first. That one? Yeah, that's probably good. I'm really kind of stalling until the rain goes away. Because, as I said, I'm a role player at heart. And, you know, in medieval days, when I don't have, you know, nice little war wall, I guess I have to work. But, generally speaking, in medieval days, a person would not have wandered out in the rain. Especially this rain. This is bad. Man. I think someone... Oh, the sun is setting. 
Uh, oh, so you guys can see my field over there. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's growing. It's growing. You can see I, I was thorough with the torches. They're actually in a pattern. And there's my, uh, well, you know what, let's go exploring. Might as well get my sword out, just in case. And I need to kill some pigs, too. So let's go on out. And, uh, there's apparently tall grass in this game now. Uh, I haven't seen any of it yet. I'm not sure if I will see any of it in my, my little world. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and reach these with, uh... Okay. And... One and two. And just, you know, go around. My fingers slip. The rain's good for crops, apparently. Great. Whoa! Oh, dang. So, can anyone tell me if walking through walking through your crop is actually a bad thing. I've just been assuming it is, but I've kind of stopped caring, if you stage you couldn't tell. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't know if I'm reducing my chances of getting weed or seeds or increasing the chances of actually killing my crops by walking through them. So I'd like to know that, because I don't like destroying things for no reason. Uh, yeah, so let's go the wheat. Path through my fields here. Not bad. You're almost ripe. Alright, so I'm gonna put these things back. And there's a pig, I'm gonna kill it. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. So, as you can tell, my, uh, my organization is much different than Joe's. Yay, pork chop. Hello, killing home. Over there, there's porches over there. You should not be able to show up there, except I guess there's that down there. Oh yeah, so let's go ahead and show you guys a little bit more of the world. Oh yeah, so this is the outside of my house. You can see there's construction going on on top. I'm working on making it a second story. Not sure what exactly I'm going to do with that second story, but I figured I should have one because my place is not very exciting at all. So yeah, so here's a, this was kind of my, my original corral. It was going to be farmland, but now that I've started that other farmland, I'm not sure if I really want to do that over here. Um, I've been uh, actually leveling this out and, and, and uh, improving the height on everything and kind of leveling it out, so that's kind of fun. Let's go over here, though. I actually haven't been over here in a while. I've been doing stuff on the other across the bridge over there. So, yeah, you can see, uh, it's a work in progress. My, uh, little leveling project. There needs to be light over here. I'm gonna put light over here. That, as you can tell, was not in a pattern. Hello, cow. What's up? All right. So this is one of the four entrances to my primary mines. So let's just head on in. Yeah, let's head on in. Get out my pickaxe. I have another. I have two more. That's good. Um. Yeah. Wow. What is? What's going on here? I don't remember this being there. Huh. Anyway. I haven't come in this way in a really long time, so we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, it's this way. So, wow, I, uh, I kind of forgot how freaking lost I was in this area. <laughs> ah, lag, what, why? Stop it. All right. Yeah, see, that's why I have signs just hanging around in my, uh, in my, in my, in my inventory. 
because I've kind of been half working on a way to map this, and I don't remember how to get to my spot that I want to get to. Over there. Uh, I swear there's stuff in this mine. I just have to find it. Okay, uh, I think this is the way. I think this is the way. I don't think it's down there. Let's find out. Nope, yeah, this is just a little pit. And there's nothing over there. I think that was a gravel pit. <sighs> Crying out loud. Oh, man. Okay, sorry, guys. I'm gonna be on around lost for a little while, apparently. No, nothing over here. Is this... No. It's not where I just was. It's very close, but it's not. Pretty well mined this, the top level of this mine out. I should probably just start clearing it out. Ooh, almost fell. Well, here's an exit. After a fashion. Um, I don't remember what was over here. Ah, okay. So, this is the other end of the field over there. I, uh, pretty much destroyed the original staircase that led into it. I don't remember if anything was over here. Okay, yeah, see, and that just loops around. This leads down to nothing. This, uh... This was pretty much just a giant natural cave system that I've been working at hollowing out and following downwards, really. I haven't done all that much to it. Oh, and this is the original entrance that I went in. So let's get out of this area, because it's not working out for me. And go to this. This... This... Yeah, yeah. This is my main entrance. The one that I've been using, mostly. One that I know actually know how to get around more or less with. Of course, it has been a long time, so that could change. Anyway, ladder. Lots of ladders in this area because I uh, was very much vertical. That's just the way that the resources landed in this. Area. Yeah, this 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 one has very much been a. Uh, Oh, let's dig it out. Might as well. Let's make it more confusing. Yes, that's the plan. So, I know you guys have been telling me that, uh, or at least one person has been telling me, that dirt underground means nothing. I still don't believe you, because nine times out of ten, I find something behind dirt. I don't know if I'm just lucky, or they changed the way that the code works, or what, but, uh, I have had much luck with this, so I'm going to keep doing it. Alright, let's go ahead and put down some torches in here. See? Look! Ah, case in point. Iron. Right there. And more iron. Not much, but some. Hello. That is very interesting. So yeah, digging away. Digging away. I 
I might recruit an additional backup commentator for Minecraft because um, it's well, it's not as exciting without the antics of me and Joe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. There may be guest commentators in the near future. There might not. Ah, more iron. I knew there would be. So I hope there would be. Was a pickaxe. Alright, so let's just go ahead and carve this out. Probably shouldn't have got that, but oh well. And uh, you know what, as long as I'm thinking about it. Well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Anything down here? Kind of. I'm gonna put you there and take you back down. Oh well. So let's just carve this out. Deeper in the belly of the mines. I'm really not prepared for a mining exhibition right now. So let's just dig this dirt out. More dirt, by the way. See, this is pretty much how my mind has expanded. I find some I find some dirt in the cave walls, I dig it out, I find something, I dig it out, and then I dig around a little bit more, and then find more dirt, and continue. Wash, rinse, repeat. Ooh, whoa, 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 that's lit. I've been here. I don't have any ladders. <laughs> Yes. Made it like a champ. All right. Put torch right there. So is it just me, or does anybody else feel like shovels die really ridiculously quickly? Like, I don't know about you guys, but I've never used a shovel that, have, that has broken this fast. Yep, see, there you go. One more. I should have made a third shovel. I thought about it. I didn't do it. I should have. Oh well. Pretty sure I don't have any shovels in storage either. Oh, nothing in here. Yes, it is. This is the place I was trying to get to in the first place. Huh. Well, alright. That's interesting. I have another way to get around. Hey. Ladder! Why 
can't I grab onto that ladder? It's weird. Whatever. Oh well, not that important really. Hello. Unexplored gravel pit to the right. Okay. See, this is why signs are important. Look at all that gravel. I do not want to deal with that gravel right now. I need to come back with a bucket. But first, coal. What's up, dirt? Get out of my way. Bunk. So this is completely random. But I have the scene from her from Disney's Hercules in my head where uh where Hades is first talking with the fates about his plans for dominating Olympus. And they keep on interrupting him, saying that they know what he's talking about, and he gets pissed. Thought I'd share that with you guys. In case any of you guys are big old Disney nerds like I am. Well, I shouldn't say that. I, I thought I was a Disney nerd, and then I met other people that are true Disney nerds. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah. Exciting people. Oh good, I wasn't attached to that. Yeah, digging away. Digging away. Uh, hold on a second. There we go. That's better. Well, let's look at my achievements. Look at that. I have not done anything with railroads. So I hear the next update for uh, Minecraft is called the Adventure Update, and I'm really looking forward to that. Because it sounds like they're making it more like a game and less like a uh, farming simulation. <laughs> Which is cool. I, you know, I don't mind the farming for simulation thing, but achievements and hopefully boss monsters. Oh my goodness, could you imagine? And uh, here they're adding pistons to the game. I don't know what that's going to do. I hope it's going to let you build cars, though, because that is going to be where it's at. And yeah, I don't know. Looking forward to it. Very much looking forward to the next Minecraft edition. Because, you know, it's Minecraft, and not just kind of magic. Also heard that on e at the E3 floor, he announced that he's going to be making a version of this for, hello, for Minecraft, uh, for Minecraft, a version of Minecraft for Xbox Live and for uh, some mobile phone thing. I don't remember what it was for. Android, I think? Android-based? I, I really don't know, actually. I don't know anything about it. I haven't really been following E3 this year because I don't have internet at my house. But I did kind of catch up with uh, with Giant Bomb's coverage of it. Giant Bomb, in case anybody of you don't know, Giant Bomb is just about the greatest place for uh, for video game news. Plug. Not that they really need it, but plug anyway. Wow, this is kind of like a nexus point. That's kind of intense. Carve that out. Hello? Okay, okay, alright, alright, I can get behind that. Take that out, and take that out, and take that out, and take that out, and take you out. And, uh, oops, hello, not the right button. Okay, put that back. Ah! And here it is, here's the passage I was talking about, that I was looking for. And this passage leads neatly to the, uh, rest of it. Let's go ahead and destroy that. And that's very nice, actually. Hello? I forgot that you were there. 
I'm gonna seal that hole up because I don't want to deal with it right now. Oop, eight, not the right button. There we go. Alright, more? More, more? Yes! Oh my goodness, that little more and more nonsense reminded me of a Chow Chow. Oh, I wonder whatever happened to that guy. He made good stuff. Zhao Zhao, in case any of you don't know, shame on you, in case you don't, um, X-I-A-O, X-I-A-O, a series of stick figure animations that ran, wow, way back in the 90s, I guess. I first saw them on Newgrounds, but I understand that they originated somewhere else, and some other dude put them on there. And, um, made by the... I don't know what his nationality is. I want to say Korean, but I don't think that's right. Um, he might have been Chinese. Might have been Japanese. Might have been anything. But anyway, what he did is he made really kick-awesome martial arts fights with these stick figures. He later kind of at increased the scope to, uh, to gun battles and stuff, and that uh, was alright. I didn't enjoy it as much, but that's just kind of my own personal bias. And there goes my shovel. I'm gonna dig with my hands. Um, but yeah, uh, cool stuff. They were very, very, very well animated. They are just, oh my goodness, so awesome, so epic. And they had lots of little silly bits to them. And I think number number three, I believe, is the best. You can, you can just watch it and see it happen. Dude breaks into a compound and kind of destroys everybody in it for no apparent reason. And then he fights a boss, and that kind of winds up being a big, dra big drag-out fight. Um, number five was another good one, and that was more of a more of a silly thing, even less build-up than uh, than number three had. But it begins with a uh, it begins with with a uh, the the black Zhao Zhao stick fighting the boss from number three, the purple stick, and. Uh, they they kind of fight for a while and then and then the purple guy gets knocked out possibly killed and Zhao Zhao bows and walks off and then purple purple guy's ghost rises from the dead <laughs> and is all like hey we're not done yet and then they fight and then Zhao Zhao loses to the to the ghost powers of purple and then his ghost rises from the dead and then it just gets crazy <laughs> and then it just gets crazy. And it, lots of funny stuff in that one, because they're just doing off-the-wall nonsense. But yeah, very much, very, very much enjoyable. I highly recommend that anybody who hasn't seen those, go check them out. You can find them, I believe you can still find them on Newgrounds. You can also find them with a Google search. They're good stuff. I believe there's nine last, there's nine last I checked. I don't think there's any new ones since then, but yeah. You can judge for yourself how they work. Some of them are interactive games. Some of them are just straight-up fight videos. It's yeah, there's kind of a variety of stuff on in his work, but they're all called that same theme of stick figures beating the crap out of each other. Which, and unlike a lot of other stick figure videos, which this I believe pretty much launched, um, these are not bloody and stupid, for lack of a more delicate term, <laughs> like. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't enjoy the majority of stick figure videos that I see. Just because they seem way too focused on blood and stupidity. Whereas, Zhao Zhao's stuff is legitimately well animated. Just, hello, spider somewhere? Whatever. Not caring about it right now. Yeah, Zhao Zhao's stuff is just great. I love it. I'm gonna dig out this. I'm gonna put a torch over there, because I don't care. And I'm out of torches, and I'm out of shovels, and I'm gonna go back to the service. So, cool. Yark! Where is my ladder? Thought I knew. Hello? Well, let's get these uh, coal pieces first. Another thing for my wish list, flashlights. 
and the ability to just hold lit torches in your hand so you don't have to put them down every time you want to light something. That would be very nice. But, uh, oh, iron. Taking that. Always take iron. Shoot, why would you not? I mean, unless your, your inventory is full up with diamonds and obsidian or whatever, just take iron. Why not? Drop whatever for it. What is down here? I don't even know. I don't even. I, what is what is jelly? All right. Um, question mark. Okay, I'm back where I was. Okay, let's go up this way because this is the way I remember. Now I'm to a spot that I actually know fairly well. Wait a minute. I can't. Wow, really? You can't just like walk up to a ladder all. Wow! Wow, Notch, okay. Well, that sucks, because now I'm pretty sure I'm stuck. Nice of you to let us know that you're doing that, Notch. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, now I have to figure out how to get out. Oh, dang it. I don't even have any wood on me, do I? No, sir, I don't. Oh, that's just great. Okay, well, at least I found another way into this area, so I can use that to get back out, presumably. Wow, okay. That... Ugh. That's kind of irritating, actually. Like, I can understand why he did it, but I don't like it. Yeah, it was kind of exploity. I guess. A little bit. Maybe. But, uh, I think I'm going the right way. What's down this way? Did I check this? I think I might have. Did I? I think I just looped around. I think I did. But, I do remember that this was the way I came, so let's go back out this way. I think I was taking a left, I want to say? Yeah, oh, hello. Okay, yeah, I do remember this. Alright, this is the way I came. Fantastical. Alright. At least I thought this was the way I came. I'm apparently mistaken. Drat. So let's go this way. Not this way. Oh, bother. Okay, let's go this way. Or wait, no, let's go this way. Ah, I think I'm safe. Pretty sure this leads out. Eventually. Nope, wrong. Okay, this way. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of still unexplored stuff in this cave system. This, this mine, oh, I forgot about you, but I have cleared out this dungeon. I am so lost, <laughs> so lost, you guys probably have a pretty good idea how lost I am. This, I remember this, how do I get out of this? Hello, Cole. Oh, always more room for coal. I have a feeling that this was a more recent expansion to my mind that I saw, went through, didn't really want to carve out. Which means that this is probably not the right way to go. Almost fell off that cliff. Oh boy. So, let's keep going, I guess. Look. Whoa! Hey, spider! Spider noises! Exciting. Digging. 
out gravel. My favorite thing in the world, digging out gravel. Oh, please nothing drop on my head. That would be great. By the way, has anybody ever found a use for gravel? Aside from spamming it until you get flint out of it. Because I have not. Ow. Oh well, whatever. I'm just gonna try my level best to get out of here and live. I feel like I should be able to get out of here, but I really don't know how. Man. Ah! Alright, so I'm back to where I'm started with the cursed ladders that don't work anymore. trick my way out of this, but I think I might have to. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this temporary style. And come back with lots and lots of ladders. This was not an exit. Nope, nor was this. By any stretch of the imagination. Oh well, um, I came in through somewhere. At least this is looking more like stuff that I was at earlier on in the exploration. Here we go! Wait. Here we go. Exit. And somehow, somehow, this is always the exit I wind up leaving through. I don't know how that works. But it's not raining anymore. Thank you. It's not raining anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I need lots and lots of ladders. That's... Well, I guess it's kind of nice. I do actually like the fact that you can't just skip ladders anymore. It makes it look better, makes it look more professional, for lack of a better word. But, just dang, man, I kind of built my mind around the fact that I didn't need those. Anyway, let's throw the iron ore in take the stone, and do some organization. So, gonna go ahead and load up on my dirt. Dirt goes into the junk drawer. Uh, cobblestone and stone. Gravel goes in the junk drawer, for sure. More cobblestone, coal, I need more torches, I need to cook that, go ahead and put you down there, you there, and you there. I really don't need all three of these, but I'm going to go ahead and use that one really quick, so I'll leave it there. Was I carrying ladders the whole time? I was carrying ladders the whole time. I feel silly. Okay, anyway, so we've got cobblestone, which I officially don't have room for. Um, got this stuff. Put you there. 
I'm going to need another box. Good thing I have them. So let's go ahead and take these. And, um... Shoot, I don't know. Um... I kind of like what I'm doing here, so... Another one. Oh, you know what another good thing to have? Another nice thing to have? Would be lanterns that you could hang from the ceiling. That would be great. Oh, that would be so nicer than this random freaking torch chilling right here. What are you doing? Yeah, can't attach to the ceiling. So, place for stone. Um, you, actually, coal goes in my tool chest, which is not this one. I was confused. I probably shouldn't have done that if it was going to confuse me all the time. Actually, as long as I'm thinking about it. Materials chest. And you know what? I'm going to need more sticks, too. Making some torches. Am I too, do I have torches just chilling here? No, I don't. Good. Good. No wasting. Or at least little wasting. Oh yes. Wooden planks. A little stack of sticks. Which is half a stack of planks. Put these back. Don't need them anymore. All of these, put them in the stack. And... Wrong. I need to move these. I need to switch their spots. Also, I need to go in the right chest. Oh, that's right. Can't do. Nice. Shovel. 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 Because they go so fast. Alright. Oop, backwards. Find home row! Find it! Um, yes. So, let's go over here. Go over here. I officially have two stacks of wheat. Very nice. Uh, ladder, signs, black wool, that goes to the other one. Yeah, okay. Black wool, go with the rest of the wool. I do not need this many shovels. Put them right there. Keep two on hand. Oh, and I think these came out of here, so I'm going to put them back. Oh, man. Well. Oh, yes. Cook pork chop. Fantastic. And, uh, I think I'm going to go kill some pigs now. Sweet! Oh, yes, and I'm also going to do some farming. Look at all that.
Wow, so much. I'll get to you in a moment, pig. Don't you worry about it. Or rather, worry about it. Lots. Because I'm about to get to you. Alright, I think I have enough for another row. Spider? <laughs> Spider! Not aggressive, really? Well, I'm gonna kill you anyway. Dang, nothing dropped. Why was that spider not aggressive? Has that spider been around all day, for real? Okay, whatever. Um, anyway. Very nice. That's the wrong button. Thanks. why that one pig died instantly and every other pig has not. Oh yes, um, there's a, the My Island base over there, which I'm not convinced is actually an island. It might be a new, another continent. Or this might just be a bay, I guess, if they're that close. Yeah, you can see it lit up over there. I haven't really done much with that. I kind of went over there, explored a little, almost died a few times. Made it back. And then my boat disappeared when I loaded my game. So, I haven't been back yet. <laughs> but, in the meantime... Well, you can see I've explored a bit over here. This is my this is my secondary mine. It is officially my secondary mine, as opposed to my going with my secondary base. Which I haven't done anything with. Oh, and uh, I guess I have a quick pork chop here, don't I? I'm going to go ahead and eat that right now. Om um, nom nom, because I'm going to want it anyway. Actually, let's have bow and arrow. That's way more safe. So yeah, I've explored a bit over here. Nice little... I don't know what this is. Waiting pool? Tide pool? Something like that. Um, yeah, I did this. I don't know why. It was kind of funny at the time. There's a tree growing mysteriously out of the ground. Um, I saw this. Ooh. Didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, um... Well, there's torches, there's coal down there. So, you know what you do with coal. First, you take your shovel and put it where your, where your iron hoe is. Then you pickaxe. Mine it out. Lots of coal down here.
So yeah, this is what Joe's world should be. You just randomly find caves and randomly find resources. This is what my entire Minecraft experience has been. Stop it. Rude. Snarling at me while I'm talking. Anything up there? Nope. We'll plop a torch down in here, just in case. How did I get you? Oh well, whatever. I still have to get out of here. So let's just, uh, dig out this sand. Goodness. Dang. Not a good day. Can you no longer recover your arrows? Well, it is now officially time for me to run like a little cow. Oh, you can pick up your arrows. Well, that arrow's gone forever. Oh my goodness. Cows, I am so glad to see you. Oh, crikey. Well, my boots are almost dead. Oh my goodness. Scary. Scary, scary business. Wow, creeper right there. Thank goodness. Well, that's a pretty good spot to leave off. I didn't even find many pork chops. Oh, my goodness. Did I take my coal out? Did I do that silly thing? I might have. I hope it didn't just disintegrate. All right, well, as long as I'm doing this, let's go ahead and put in cobblestone. And more cobblestone. Oh, my goodness. Oh, stuff for the junk drawer. Full stack. Perfect. Food locker. Uh, sapling. I got lots of... Apparently the different kinds of saplings. How about that? Well, that's uh, exciting. And easy to till apart. Oh, my goodness. Whew. Nom nom. Meat bread instead. I don't know why I didn't just put it in my quick bar. Nom mm. nom. Okay. Well, then. Oh, yes. Tool chest. Alright. I think sand should probably go in the junk drawer. Except I'm not going to do that because I'm just going to make it into glass. So. Put cobblestone away in here. 
put the stony stone away in here. I need to start making stuff with this stone. Uh, I think that is going to take the, the, the shape of a giant wall around my territory. I have fences right now. They'll be my outside perimeter. Stone will be a giant, like, I don't even know what to call it, but it's going to be awesome. And uh, maybe iron gates to fill it up. Make some pressure plates, do some stuff with redstone. I don't know. But anyway, this is this is my world, guys. So if you like what you see, let me know, and uh, you might see more of it. And if you don't like what you see, then we'll go back to Joe's world, and I'll keep doing this in my own time. Heck, for all y'all, keep playing my game. Um, but until then, guys, this has been Josh the Valiant Gamers, and I need some sleep. Take care.